Ladies and gentlemen and engineers, we're going to do part two. We're going to do the tire part two. It's just like sometimes you want to draw an S, and then you want to draw a more different S. We're going to basically make the exact same tire, but in a different way, just to kind of demonstrate the different ways that Autodesk Inventor will work. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is click on New. And again, we're using the metric system of measurement because this is science, and we're going to do a standard millimeter IPT which stands for inventor part okay and we're going to save it first so we're gonna go file save as and again we're gonna save it in your folder with we're gonna click up 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 until you find computer we're gonna find your network folder with your name on it we're gonna go to ape we're gonna go to inventor tutorials and this is gonna be wheel number two and we're going to click save. Okay, so again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a start with a 2D sketch. Okay, we're going to choose the X, Z axis like we did before. And we're going to get started with creating a rectangle this time instead of a circle. So we're going to click on the rectangle. And there's lots of different ways to make these things, but we're going to do a two point. Okay, and so right now what I, we're going to we're going to click and drag and we're just going to perfectly make perfect purposely make it offset so you can see it's not centered and you click to be done and it's not centered on here so you can see that this geometry is green which means there are uh, there are no constraints to it so it, we could totally move this around and there's nothing stopping it from being moved around so basically because there's no constraints I can make it bigger this way bigger this way I can move it around and so a lot of oftentimes you don't want things to move around like that all right so what we're gonna do is we want to basically make this center point lined up with that center point. So we're going to come to our constraints, and we're going to go to, I believe it's the vertical constraint. So let's try it again. So we're going to go to the vertical constraint. We're going to click there, and then we're going to constrain it there. And you can see now that it's constrained. So now if I try to adjust it, right, now that you can see that, that it goes both ways. Okay, so it goes both ways. All right, so the next constraint we are, we're going to do is we want this thing to be 24 millimeters. So we're going to do a dimension on there. So we're going to click and drag, and we're going to type in 24. Okay, and then we're going to zoom out so we can see all of our stuff. We can grab the hand over here and move things over this way. Okay, so the next constraint is we want to make this line a particular distance to this axis because later on we're going to rotate around this axis so we want it to be 35 millimeters so we're going to click on this line and then we're going to click on the so you can see here's the x y and z so this is the x axis so i'm going to click over here to the x axis and i'm going to type in 35 millimeters okay and then we're going to do the same thing with this line we're going to drag this line we're going to dimension it over to this axis we're going to click and then we're going to type in 55 okay and so anyway so you see that's constrained so now if I hit escape and I try to move stuff it's just really not going to let me move anything because it's all been constrained okay all right so we're done with this sketch for now so we're going to right click and choose to oh no it's not there oh yeah we can finish the 2d sketch or click finish 2d sketch here okay and we're going to use the hand and we're going to move it around to where we can see stuff we're going to zoom we're going to zoom out. Okay, so we want to rotate this shape. We want to revolve it around that axis. So let's see if it's going to let us do it. So we're going to revolve. Okay, and so the first thing we do is we click the profile, which you can see it's already selected, the profile. And then we need to choose the axis that we want to revolve it around. And it's going to be this point right here. So we can go to the origin and we can find the different. We don't really want to revolve it around the, the Z axis, not the Y. No? Let's see where we want it. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is troubling, so we can't really, we're not finding the spot we want to revolve it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to give it some sort of geometry for it to, to do that. So we're going to go back into the sketch. So we, need, so we need to go back and edit this sketch. So we double click and we get back into the sketch. And so we're going to have to, No, that's not it either. That's not it either. We actually want to rotate it around this axis. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line here. Okay. So we're going to just do a regular old line. We're going to click and draw a line right there. Okay. And then hit escape. 
So we're going to finish that sketch. All right, so let's go back. So we're going to go revolve. We want to revolve the profile this, and the axis is going to be right here. Okay, so you can see we revolved it around that point. We click OK. And so just like before, now we have the exact same donut. We, d we drew it a different way. So now we're going to go to our fillet again, and it needs to be 12 millimeters. And we're going to fill it that, and we're going to fill it that, and then we're going to click OK. We like it. And we're going to save this one again. So we're going to go, we're going to click the Save button, and all of our work is saved. All right, that's it. So now go ahead and do the third tutorial, which is going to be the wheel.